You can now create and sell bundles using the all new Shopify bundles app. This app was created by Shopify and it's a great way to increase your average order value and sell more online. My name is Digital Girl and in this Shopify tutorial, I'll show you how to create a bundle using three different products. To get things started, we'll need to install the Shopify bundles app. So once you're logged into your Shopify admin, we'll head on over to add apps in the left-hand menu. From there, it will highlight different apps that are picked just for you. And in most cases, the bundles app won't actually be on this list. So we're going to hit the Shopify app store link at the bottom. Next, we'll search for Shopify bundles. And then it's this one over on the left-hand side, again, called Shopify Bundles. You'll know that it's the right app because it says that it's developed by Shopify. Now, of course, go ahead and read over the page if you'd like, but once you're ready, go ahead and hit that install button. It's going to take us back over to our admin where it's going to give us more info on the privacy details, permission details, and so on. Once we're ready, we'll hit install app in the top right hand corner. And there it is, the app has been installed and we're ready to create our very first bundle. So we'll go ahead and hit the create bundle button and then give our bundle a title. In our case, we're going to call it the trim trio. Next, we'll hit the select products button and then we'll search for the three different products that we'd like to include within our bundle. The first one that we're going to include is a trim roller. So we'll select it by clicking on the checkbox. Next, we'll search for the mini tray and select that as well. And then last but not least, there is a paintbrush that we'd like to include. Once we've checked off all three products, we'll hit the select button in the bottom right hand corner. And there you have it, we have the three products listed here. If you'd like, you can go through and edit the quantity of the products. So let's say you wanted to include two rollers, one tray and one brush, you can certainly do that. However, I'm going to change it back to one because we just wanna have one of each in this bundle. Another thing is that you can see that the paintbrush has three different variants. So the paintbrush comes in three different sizes, a one inch, 1.5 and a two inch. But for this bundle, we only want to include the one inch option. So I'm going to unselect the 1.5 and the two inch. So there you see it, it says included variant is only the one inch. So if we head on up to the right hand side, we have a summary of our bundle. It contains three products, which are the trim roller, mini tray and paintbrush. If we're good with that, we'll hit save and continue. And this is going to make an all new product for us. As you can see, the title is there, but we will need to add a description. And then we can do things like add media. Let's say you have a shot of the three products together. You could also add individual photos for each product. So if we head on down the product page, you can see that the bundle consists of these three products. And then we can also set the pricing for the bundle. Oftentimes when setting up a bundle, it's nice to give a discount to make the bundle more appealing. So in this case, we'll put $19.99. While the three different products have three different sets of inventory, the bundle's availability is set by the product with the lowest inventory. So let's say two of our products had an inventory of 30 available, and then one product had only 12. We can only sell a total of 12 bundles. If we go up to the top of our product page, I'm going to set the status to active so that it goes live right away. And then you can add other things like product category, product type, vendor, collections, and tags. I'm going to add this product to the painting tools collection. And then once we're done, we'll hit save in the top right hand corner. Now, if we head on back to our website, you can see that the new bundle is there, the Trim Trio, and we can go ahead and add it to the cart. If we go to our checkout, you can see that the bundle is there and it lists the three different products that we have included. And there you have it. 
you now know how to create a bundle in Shopify. Be sure to subscribe for more tutorials and check out eStoreKings.com for free resources, written tutorials, and lots more.